Hi, this is Mark, aka Brixus. Welcome to the seabed somewhere off northeastern Australia, where we find the Lagotechnic orange clownfish in its natural habitat. The astute amongst you will notice that this particular clownfish has a small right fin. That's because this is Nemo of cartoon fame, and this is his special lucky fin. Come on, Nemo, give us a twirl. So the idea of scaling up the clownfish by a factor of about four or five was to be able to create realistic movements in, with mechanisms. So as you can see, the pectoral fins have two degrees of freedom. And the orange clownfish uses the pectoral fins to maintain its position in the current. So I'll show you the other functions as well. So if I move around, we have a function gearbox in the back. And if I move this way, we should be able to move the mouth and gearbox. There we go. A bit slower maybe. That will do. So that means that our clownfish can nibble and breathe and um, we also have manual function if we wind this way the fish can descend and nibble the anemone now clownfish are closely associated with anemones they secrete mucus to avoid being stung and the small clownfish can hide in the anemone so um, as a male clownfish, Nemo or Marlin, if we take a, another large fin instead of the small one, can do the housekeeping by keeping the anemone clean and also finding worms to eat. So the other, another manual function here is that the anemone itself can move. So if I turn this gear here, now this could be motorised. Uh, this uses a similar mechanism to some of the small engines in uh, vehicles in Technic sets. And then we can come up going this way. And it will go a bit beyond the flat position and move upwards. There we go. So let's stop the mouth and gills. And then if we change gear again can fold away the petrol fins. There we go. And let's go this way. That is it. <laughs> One way. So what clownfish do, oops, change again. Back to that one. And, uh, there we go. So we folded the fins away. And clownfish do this so that they can then use their tail for swimming. So let's move to the tail gear and then turn on the tail movement. Now tail movement is relatively slow on this model at the moment. I'd like to speed it up if possible. But the thing about this is if I move you know, around, this is the third manual function because it's on the turntable, which is quite similar to the large crane that's been in the set before. So and you can see there, I've used some of the um, flexible axles because the middle needs to flex. Now if I was to move the tail faster, then this extra section of tail would also move. Um, that is my hope in the future to develop it that way. Um, so this is moving a fair bit of weight because we have the drive motor here, the function motor here, uh, gearbox in the middle, and then all, all those functions have universal joints to go across to the main body. So we have the, the tail swishing function here at the top with um, rods that move in opposite directions. We have the petrol fin functions, the, um, the movement this way is a crank here, moves across there to some suspension pieces, and wishbones, and then the, the forward movement 
forward and rear movement there is starts at the bottom and then has another slider behind here and that translates into crank and levers that move in and out of the sides and then the mouth and gill mechanisms we've got the gills here which are mechanisms at the top and the mouth has mechanisms through the middle most two are linked together about here so those, those sit in the middle portion um, and the drive to the tail swishing mechanism is also in the middle while the um, pectoral fin mechanisms are at the sides so uh, like most tanning sets it's a bit of a juggle to put everything in the right place to get all the functions working together so I'm going to stop the tail uh, that there. Right. so we're going to try different gear change mechanisms there are options on control so at the moment I've used the power functions system so we've got an infrared receiver there and then the, those two motors in the back and the battery here disguised with a few uh, flower and uh, plant pieces so what I'd like to do is move to the, the two port hub of the powered up scheme uh, that's in the train sets at the moment and the, uh, the Batmobile uh, that can use two similar sized motors of powered up and then uh, that would enable the train remote control or a phone to control the model. Uh, there are further options, we could go to the large Technic hub um, and that can drive four motors, so you could have individual motors in the back if there was room. Uh, what I originally tried to design was a bit of space in the top of here to put the hub, but uh, that got used up with the tail swishing mechanism. So, uh, And then the ultimate model could have a four port hub here with four motors in the back for the fish functions and another four port hub on the seabed with the anemone and the tilt and turn functions. Um, that would be a bit like the very large excavator but that would also push the price up. Now what I was hoping was um, with roughly I think it's about 2,000 parts for the fish and the turntable and then some more for whatever we put on the seabed. Now I've redid my uh, parts bins and bags and cupboards and so on to find all the pretty seabed pieces. Um, those are fairly optional, we'll have to see uh, what pieces are available at the time and uh, I think there are some people with greater artistic skills than me who um, might like to uh, uh, even visit the seabed and uh, see which plants are most appropriate. Now the way I've designed this, um, the anemone is quite small compared to the size of the fish so Normally a, a carpet anemone uh, that we've seen on the Blue Planet programs from the BBC uh, in the UK. Um, the area of the carpet anemone for this scale might be, ooh, might be a minimum of one metre squared, maybe four metres squared. So that would be very large and uh, <laughs> yeah, we'd be looking at uh, an entire double bed of uh, plates and uh, that would be rather larger than we're allowed in a a proposed set for Lego like, Ideas. Um, so what I'll do, I'll uh, suggest this as a Lego Ideas project and we'll see how it goes and uh, look out for us on there and please support us. Um, the name of the project is to have a Technic set that's more interesting to people who like natural things because over the years most Lego Technic sets have been vehicles of one sort or another uh, and especially in the modern age we need to think more about um, protecting the world and uh, all the natural things. Um, and whilst uh, clownfish are very pretty and uh, some people like to have one in a fish tank at home um, there are limits on, on how many are allowed to be fished for uh, for that purpose and uh, this set would give an opportunity to anyone who would like to have a fish to uh, have a, a larger one to look at and uh, not have to clean out the tank because I think that would be uh, the right pain to do <laughs> and I think a price point of maybe £200 is uh, rather less than uh, it would cost to um, support a fish tank so uh, yeah hopefully that will appeal and also I'd like to give a wider range of people um, the confidence and the skills to think about engineering as a career um, we need engineers who think about the environment nowadays um, whatever the product is we need it to not pollute too much and we need to be efficient in our use of energy so that's a, another aim of the project. So please support us, please spread the word. Um, and well, no doubt there'll be more 
pictures and videos and uh, we'll see how this goes and well it'll need 10,000 supporters for uh, it to be to considered as a, as a kit so uh, I'm really hopeful. So I've learnt a few things from my previous projects uh, including a BB-8 droid from Star Wars and um, a space monorail and uh, well hopefully this will have appeal to a wider group of people. So thanks for listening and uh, please keep, keep in touch. Um, now when we go on Lego Ideas I'd like to know uh, comments about what sort of control scheme people would like. Um, so uh, that would be useful. So thanks very much for now and uh, this is Mark aka Brixus for the Embellus Brick Mox channel. See you soon. Bye.